guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I am going to be doing like a chatty, just get to know me video where I tell you guys 10 things that you may not know about me. So if you're wondering these 10 things, if you're excited to hear what they are, then go ahead and keep on watching. I've decided to kind of start sharing and doing more videos where I'm more personal with you guys. You guys can get to know me on a different level and just kind of chat and hang out. I do like these and maybe sometimes I'll do them while I'm doing makeup. I just don't really know yet like my vibe and my feel of how I'm going to do them. But I thought I would sit down and do this one with you guys. It seems really fun and just kind of to let you get to know me more since we are a community, a family. I just want you guys to be able to get to know me and kind Kind of who I am a little bit behind the camera. Um, <laughs> so I was born in Texas, Colleen, Texas originally, and I moved up here to Maryland where I currently live and grew up and have lived since I was like five, four, three. I don't remember. I was little, but <laughs> I've been up here most of my life. I do have family still down in Texas. But for the most part, my family does live up here in Maryland with me. They don't live with me, but like in Maryland with me just so I can clarify that. So I do really sometimes because I used to go down to Texas when I was younger every summer and then I used to go to Texas when I was older and I would see like my family down there and I really a lot of the times was like I'm gonna move there. I want to move there. I want to pack the family up and I want to move and then I just don't because like my family's here and it's just really hard for me to kind of like not be with my family. Um, so number two something about me and you guys may have recently known this because because of a haul that I did. I love to color. I love to scribble. I love to color. I like coloring books. Um, I have coloring books while well, I did at my desk when I wasn't teleworking forever. And just like when, you know, we were slow, I would just sit and color. When I get bored, I color. I color to like, you know, kind of just relax. Um, I'm not an artist. <laughs> uh, don't ask me to show you pictures because most of the time it's just nonsense and I'm just scribbling, but I do really enjoy coloring. Uh, it's something that I've just always really enjoyed. I feel like that kind of ties into the makeup thing too. Like I just love to express myself. That's just something that I love to do. So coloring is my thing besides makeup. It is a way for me to just chill and just have my own time. But again, I'm an artist, so uh, don't ask for any photos. It's usually just like my name and then like all kinds of like decorations around it. Um, number three, I love the carnival. Anytime the carnival comes, I am like a 10 year old all over again. I absolutely love the feel of the carnival. Um, I love riding the rides. I think I might like the carnival more than my children like the carnival. I just, again, I think it's just because of the nostalgia of it, just sitting there and just enjoying your day with not a care in the world and having fun and getting your tickets and playing the games. I like I just love carnivals like, I really 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 love them we did not have one this year because of the pandemic so I'm hoping that 2021 brings the carnival back because I'll be really sad because in 2019 yes 2019 I was pregnant so this is like this will be three years without the carnival so it kind of makes me sad um, because I am really really like one of the biggest fans of the carnival like I just love it I I'm like a kid I just have so much fun okay so for number four also if I lose track of the numbers just ignore that because like sometimes I just don't have it all together but number four is that I cuss a lot so a lot I cuss like a sailor and I know that that is not a very ladylike thing for me um it's not a very classy thing I, whatever else you guys say about cussing but I know that it is not the best thing for me to do but it's what I do and when I say that I cuss a lot like you guys have no idea how many cuss words I cut out of my videos like I cuss a lot um it's just like a way that I express myself um I just find that like sentences and stuff are just so much better enhanced you just add like a word in there do you know what I mean it's just it's just such a better time like, I don't know why I'm telling you that but just so you know um I'm probably cussing all the time like I could be having a conversation with just a random adult and I'm like oh, yeah like it's just bad it's it's bad I'll bleep that out and number five I am obsessed with Apple products Yes, I am. If that makes me snobby, if that makes me dumb, I don't know electronics, I don't care. I don't care. 
I love Apple products. I have a MacBook, I have iPads, I have a phone, an iPhone, I have AirPods. I'm not getting the AirPod Maxes, the headphones, because I cannot bring myself to spend $500 on headphones. I cannot do it. Um, my children have iPads and iPhones and AirPods and my husband has an Apple Watch and that's not for me to brag. It's just to show you I have a problem. I have a problem. So when I tell you I'm obsessed with Apple products, I'm obsessed. I don't know why. I don't know. It's the weirdest thing I feel like to have an obsession with, but I just do. And I promise you, like if you guys get to know me, I'm like the furthest thing from a snob, okay? So I'm not snobby, I'm not bragging. I just have a serious obsession to Apple products. I just do. Um, so clothing wise for number six is I love t-shirts and hoodies. It's just what I, I like. I mean, I have to dress up when I am at work and maybe that's why I just love t-shirts and hoodies so much. But if I'm not going to work, you're gonna find me in a t-shirt or a hoodie if I'm not going to something special or important. It's just comfortable. You're never going to come onto my channel and find me in these fancy crop toppy, like, ooh, shiny clothes. Like, you're just not. Like, it's just not who I am. And I don't have anything against any of that. I think that people who wear those look beautiful. They look stunning. I bought my very first bodysuit the other day and I loved it but it's also just very plain. Like it just looks like a tank top. Um, I just love the feeling of a t-shirt. I love the move. I love how they fit. I love how comfortable it is. Like I can lay down and take a nap like, and not have to worry like, am I messing up my silk shirt? Do you know what I mean? I just <laughs> I love t-shirts and I have way too many. So I just did a declutter of my closet. I should have done that as a video for you guys, but I did a declutter of my closet and I'm down to like 38 t-shirts, which is phenomenal considering how many I had. And I think I only have like 15 hoodies. I don't know, hoodies and t-shirts. I'm just like, they're my thing. And I guess to like go along with clothing, um, I guess I'll give you guys something I hate. Um, and don't take offense to this. Like if this is something you love, then love it. Like do your thing. I don't like printed clothing. So I like like stuff like this. So like this kind of printed, I'm here for it. Um, cheetah, animal, stars, stripes, polka dots are not my thing. And I especially, especially hate it when I see people in decorated leggings. If you're gonna wear leggings, which I love leggings, black, navy, gray. Those are your three choices in my book, in my opinion. Again, if you wear these, that's fine. My best friend, Jenny, if you're watching this, cause I know you are, it's okay to wear printed leggings cause she loves them. I just hate printed clothing. I don't know why. And when it comes to printed leggings, I'm just like, no, I don't know why. It's just something I've always like really just can't I'm just like, ooh, if you could just, if I could do one thing differently, it would be not to wear those pants. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I know, I'm like laughing at myself. Like, oh my God, it's not that serious. But seriously, Jenny, if you're watching, you know how I feel about your leggings. Love you, girl. The next thing, number seven, which I guess ties into that too. Um, I'm very bossy. Um, I know that like I can come off like pretty like calm and chill and nice and I'm very controlling and I'm very bossy. And I don't mean controlling like in a negative like toxic way. I'm controlling in like I have to know like what's happening, what we're doing, where we're going, how we're doing it, structured, checklist, I write it down. If it's not written down, it ain't happening. Like I'm just very bossy when it comes to stuff like that. I'm a very organized bossy mess like i can't chaos chaos is not my thing it makes my anxiety go through the roof all of this, if i don't write down what i'm getting from a store it doesn't even have to be the grocery store if it's not written down i'm going all over i'm getting everything but I'm just, I am very bossy. I do like, even when it comes to Steven and sometimes like I feel bad cause I think I'm like raining on his like creativity. Um, but like I tell him what kind of clothes to wear. 
I know that's negative, that's toxic. I said I wasn't toxic. We're all a little toxic. And I'm not like, oh my God, you can't fucking wear that. No, I'm just like, well, if I could do something different. And then I mentioned my friend Jenny just a second ago. Yeah, I'm kind of bossy. I was kind of bossy with her too. But she loves me, they love me, they know my personality. It isn't hateful, it isn't nasty. When it comes to things, I'm just bossy. That's just who I am and I'm raising a little me because Madison is bossy. And I'm just like, who's, who's boss do you think that you are? Why are you so bossy? Who are you bossing around over here like, oh God, that's definitely me. She got that from me. I'm not gonna admit it. Like, no, I'm just gonna tell her to stop doing that. So for number eight, I was gonna be like, a, oh, what TV shows is my favorite, but I don't really watch TV. So I kind of like if I watch something I watch it. I have not really watched like a lot of the big really popular shows like Orange is the New Black, um, that like Walking Zombie one, um, Breaking Benjamin. Breaking Benjamin? I don't think it's Breaking Benjamin. My coworker, he likes it and I don't remember. It's Breaking something. Those like really pop I've never seen them. I've never seen them. I just, I am very, I don't know that I would say I'm very active, but I feel like, I always feel like personally, if I'm not up and doing something, if I'm not physically or just like working on something, I feel like I have failed that day. I have, you know, wasted that day. I'm real big on that now. Like I said, there are times where like, I'll find a show or whatever on Netflix or on Peacock or whatever else. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'll watch it for a little bit, but then I'm like, oh my God, I've wasted this time these hours of watching TV and I could have been doing whatever else. We have a TV in our room and we don't use it. Uh, we just don't, like we're not big TV watchers. My girls do watch a lot of YouTube. Nicholas plays with his games and then watches some YouTube. But, and the baby, she just doesn't watch TV at all. And I think it's because we don't really watch TV. So she doesn't find that as something to like grab her attention. She would just rather get into you know what I mean? Like what most kids do at that age. We call her the destructor because she destroys everything. But she doesn't really watch TV either and I think it's just because she doesn't really see us watch TV. I just find that there's just more things that I want to do with my time whether it be you know focusing on my YouTube. So I am on YouTube watching things. Um, how I can change it, how I can do better. We're focusing on the things that we need to do around the house, what I want to get done, what needs to be done. My husband will play video games. We play um, WoW together sometimes. So there's just like, there are times where like, I'm not like, oh my God, we don't, we don't do screen time. We don't do that. No, we're, we're on electronics all the time, but we don't sit down and watch TV. So I don't have a favorite TV show. I do want to start watching Shit's Creek because I heard that that was a really good show. So I want to try to watch it, but seven seasons sounds like a lot. <laughs> sounds like a lot. And um, like this, there's some times where we'll find a show that we really like and it'll be like after it released on TV and we'll just like binge watch it. So we do watch TV. It's just, I don't have a favorite TV show. And if it is, it's usually not a current TV show. And if there's one TV show I could tell you that I hate, it's The Office. I'm just gonna lay that out there. You can feel free to unsubscribe to me because I know how people who love The Office feel about that show. And I'm not a fan, so I'm sorry. Don't hate me too bad. So number nine is kind of like beauty related. I prefer Sephora over Ulta. I just do. I don't know why I felt like that's something you need to know about me, but just in case you're wondering, um, I do. I prefer Sephora over Ulta. I like their program. I know that a lot of people are like, I prefer Ulta because you get like free stuff and free money back and I do. But I always find myself in such a better atmosphere in Sephora when I go in. Sadly, the Sephora near me that I've been going to for a very long time <laughs> has closed down. I'm almost in tears, like for real. So the girls that like, you know, I got to know and how sweet they are and how kind they are. I just don't get that same vibe when I go to Ulta. When I go to Ulta, I almost feel like I'm going into like a Target or something, you know what I mean? Where they're nice. They're just not they're friendly. Like they're just you know, working, they're doing their job, which is fine. But like Sephora, I just always felt like I was greeted so differently. I was treated like, you know, how can I help you? Let me walk you through. Where sometimes when I go to my Ulta and I ask for questions, they're just like, yeah, okay, no. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll just go for myself right over here. So I do prefer Sephora. I do like 
Ulta's program, like their rewards program, but I just really always find myself shopping at Sephora. Online, in store, I just love it. And number 10, Woo! Um, number 10 is a little bit more personal and like, I guess more serious. I do fight with anxiety. And if you're not new, that is something that I have uh, dabbled in saying. And the reason that I don't really like to express something like that is uh, one, the judgment. Uh, you know, you have a lot of people who just don't understand mental health and how it works. And you know, they think, well, you just be fine. You're just, you're over exaggerating. You're just dramatic. And it's not necessarily that I'm like, oh, panic attack. I, I've actually never, maybe one time, had a panic attack. My anxiety, it festers differently, um, and sometimes it can lead to, like, slight depression. I don't see anybody for it. So if you guys are wondering that, I know this is a little bit personal. I don't take medication or anything like that. I do find ways to manage it, and I have. But I think that my anxiety, that falls into, like, the whole when I said, you know, I don't watch TV because I feel like there's things that I should be doing or can do. Sometimes at nighttime, like, my brain just won't shut off and like I just start thinking and thinking and thinking and I'm not talking like worrying like I just start thinking of like things that I need to do in a month in two months in a year sometimes my anxiety can get the best of me and for a long time when I first started YouTube I think it was about a year ago end of 2019 slightly into 2020 um, my anxiety got really bad so I, I stepped away a lot from YouTube just because I had to just get myself together and kind of like know my space and really just handle it and now that like I've learned how to handle it I know you know what triggers it for the most part I can tell when it's happening and I just kind of like I can handle it a lot better. I do like to do things like self-care. I do believe in like, that's a big, big help. That's a big thing that I never did because, you know, I was told, you know, if you just worried about yourself, you were selfish and you know, you have to worry about everybody else. What can you do for everybody else? What can you, and sometimes, sometimes it's okay to just worry about you. And I think that I never realized that I had these issues with anxiety until I had to really face it. And 2020, it caused me more anxiety, but it also taught me how to handle it. It taught me how to figure out what I can do to get myself from here back to where I need to be and just out of that funk. A lot of the times my anxiety won't come off as panic or worry. It more comes off as lashing out, standoffish, not wanting to go anywhere, not wanting to do anything. Another thing is I'm very antisocial. And I think sometimes that can really make my anxiety a little bit worse because being antisocial, you just kind of close up and you don't really associate with people. And people like have no idea because they're like, oh my God, but you're on YouTube, but I'm not talking like with anybody. Like I'm behind a camera by myself and I love it. And I love that this is like commenting and talking with you guys really does help me socialize more than I would on a normal basis. So I definitely have accepted and admitted and I'm totally okay with the fact that I fight with anxiety. Like I said two years ago, I would have never told anybody that. And even like to me, I was just always like, oh, I'll be fine. Oh, I'll be fine. And then it just took a lot to kind of just hit me and just be like, it's okay to not be okay. And to realize like what's wrong with me. And like I said, I do so much self care. Like I light a candle in the morning. I just chill. I calm, like I'm just my zen. Do you know what I mean? And just ever since I've really accepted what is happening up in here, up in this brain, um, I've learned to be able to handle it a lot better and focus it on more of a positive aspect. I've also changed my whole way of thinking. Because of my anxiety, I was a very negative thinker. And by that, I don't mean like, oh my God, the world's coming to an end. No, it was like, just, you know, I'm always doing something wrong. I was always messing up. People don't like me because of whatever. And it just was too much negativity. And I didn't realize like all the negativity you feed into the world, even whether it's on purpose or not, you get that back. Like you get all of that back. That becomes your reality. So I'm really big now into manifestation where I speak positivity. Um, I know that I'm going to be successful. I know that I'm going to be where I want to be. I know that things are going to be hard and that's okay because I'm strong enough to handle it. So these are all things that I've just had to basically learn and deal with and just learn to manage my anxiety. Um, I don't think that I have it severely. I do know that a lot of people suffer from it 
and you know they take medication or they have to talk to doctors and that's totally fine too i've just been able to for myself be able to handle it on a basis where I don't need to go to that next level. Now, I'm not saying that if I ever did, I wouldn't because I totally would, um, but it just took a lot for me to be able to accept and admit to myself, like, I'm not okay and I need to figure out why and what I can do to change that. Steven, uh. my husband, Steven, he is such a big help. Like, he, he really is such a big help and him putting his all into my youtube into what i do for you guys it's really just amazing honestly and this helps me i know that sounds silly but this is my self-care like me doing these videos me taking time out of one day a week and then being able to take my time editing and just learning all these new things and doing all these things and being able to meet and talk and socialize with all of you people that watch my videos, build a community and a family. It just really has helped me a lot in my journey of correcting or handling, handling, managing my anxiety, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know the proper terms. I just feel like he's been a large help and I never really saw that until recently and like now when he's gone during the day like I'm like I miss you and I never used to be that person I was never empathetic I was never like you would not get that out of me like cool you miss me whatever but because he has been such a big help and especially in 2020 like he just when all this happened he was so good like he he can adjust like no other okay he can adjust where I'm just like oh, hold on <laughs> slow down the way that he adjusted the things that he does and like he knows like when I'm when I'm struggling with my anxiety he can tell and like you know what can I do for you do you need some time do you need some space do you want to go shopping I know that sounds silly but just going and being alone just sometimes helps me a lot. So I do like to go and shop. I do wind up spending way too much money, but it is something that I really appreciate that he does. So that was my number 10. Um, that was probably as personal as it's gonna get. Maybe down the road we'll get a little bit more personal, but it's a lot to take in that, you know, you guys, you don't really know me and I want you guys to know me, the real me, the fun me, the not perfect sitting with my shoulders up waving hi guys welcome back to my channel i want you to know me like for who i am um and just like be able to build like i said a family and a community and enjoy our time together and not have to feel like we're in such a like eh, environment do you know what i mean <laughs> but that is it for today's video guys i hope you really enjoyed getting to know me i hope these 10 things that you may not have known about me we're not too surprising, too harsh. Maybe hopefully didn't make you like hate me for life, but I hope it really, really helped you get to know me a little bit better. I want you guys to comment down below something you're comfortable with sharing, something personal that I can get to know you better. The other people down in the comments can get to know you better. So that way our community and our family can just be so tight and just know each other and not just know a face or a name. And again, just something that you're comfortable sharing if you're not comfortable sharing, then just go ahead and leave me a thumbs up emoji just to let me know that you're here and you are listening. And as always, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. I do five videos every week and one blooper video every Saturday. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.